Hey everybody, welcome to another model building workshop. I'm Mr. Allen from the Community Libraries of Providence from the Smith Hill location. And today we're going to look at the Tamiya kit of the Long Range Desert Group 30 CWT Chevrolet truck. It's the Chevrolet of Canada made these trucks. This is an old Tamiya kit. It's been sitting around for a long time. Still good. Still in production. Still nice. So the Long Range Desert Group was a group of the British uh, Army that was designed to uh, explore, you know, search and raid uh, deep behind the lines in enemy territory in the desert to go explore, to uh, do reconnaissance, to do uh, sabotage missions, and things of that nature. And the idea of uh, this type of desert warfare, uh, according to Tamir anyway, <laughs> there were things they were looking at during World War I, and uh, General Archibald Wavell really thought this was a way to go. He was thinking about this in the 30s. And then when you add Lieutenant Fox Davies and then Major Bagnall, they came up with this concept of the Long Range Desert Group, which would exploit, you know, the desert and uh, kind of, you know, do these sweeping movements behind enemy lines and, and do, you know, what I just mentioned earlier. Um, so they needed particular vehicles to accomplish these tasks, and they found that the Chevy trucks that were in use with the Egyptian forces in the desert were pretty good for this task. So what they would do is they would get, you know, these trucks, they would strip them down, add con uh, condensers to kind of, you know, conserve the water, add desert tires, add extra leaf springs to the, uh, to the suspension system to handle the terrain. They would add different types of sun compasses and other navigational equipment so they could navigate deep in the desert. And uh, this was kind of, in a way, a private army in a sense, because um, they, they formed a particular group and a lot of regulations were not really followed, because if you've seen pictures of the Long Range Desert, desert Group, you notice they had beards and all kinds of uh, interesting attire that they used it was kind of whatever worked for this purpose and in a sense they acted almost like pirates out out in the seas except for the seas in this case was just the vast sands of the desert so the kit as you can see here i'm kind of underway with it just got some final pieces to put on actually and again and get the crew situated it's a typical Tamiya kit in that they go together nicely. They just, they just do. They're, they're designed to fit. And you can see in the front that they took a lot of the, uh, the grating, I guess, off the, the front grill to add more airflow uh, to cool the engines down. I opted for a uh, kind of a two-tone camouflage here. And so far, I left the rubber, t rubber tires off until I finish construction. Got a lot more to do on this, but I wanted you to see where, where I am with it so far. And like I said, it goes together pretty nicely. There's a couple of crew figures that come with it. Working on the driver. As the gunner will be in the back, manning. They gave a choice of a Lewis gun. Well, it looks like they really want you to use the Lewis gun. But I think you you could also fit a boys anti tank rifle there too if you wanted to. Be creative, because they give you that too. Mainly as an accessory, but it is there if you wanted to play around with it. A lot of extra parts there and extra gear. Because they would load these things up with all sorts of different types of equipment for the long desert journeys. Some more storage there. And little windscreens, such as they were, covered up in 
tarp. It's not much for decals. I'll show you the instruction sheet. Just kind of typical Tamiya. This is an old kit, but those of you who have built Tamiya kind of know the drill with these. Pretty straightforward. And so far, I haven't really come into any challenges with it. Although there is a part here for this radio or wireless, depending on how you want to pronounce that. And they have a, a door that opens and closes. I didn't find that to be necessarily the easiest thing to, to leave operational. But you know, technically you can. So it's all this this model, it's all about the you know the extra stowage. It's just so much stuff you can cram this truck with. I'll give you some examples here. It's just lots of different types of gear to load this thing up. A few different examples there. And there's the markings. Such as they are, there's not a lot of mocking options really for this truck. That's why it's got a Kiwi in it, it's from the New Zealand group. And what I'm doing with the two tone. If you want to further expand this kit, there is a, uh, a, a figure set out now, a newer figure set, because this is basically a kit from the 70s, I believe. But there is a new kit out. I don't know if it's either, uh, I think it's Master Box or Mini Art. I'm not positive off the top of my head. But there is another set of figures you could add to this to create a, a diorama. Uh, it shows them with the, uh, there's a unditching tool, like a corrugated metal, there's your one here, but it has the crew. I try to dig the tire out and try to put that down to, you know, unditch the, uh, the stuck vehicle and a few other crew in discussion. So that's, that's an option that's out there now, so you could... You know, you have a lot of choices with things like this, what you could do. Um, and nowadays, you know, they do have, well, nowadays, <laughs> it's like within the within the 2000s, uh, Italia Ray has put out a, a pretty good range of Italian figure sets and uh, vehicles, as well as, well as other um, companies out there have done, like uh, Dragon and... Uh, Master Box and Mini Art. Anyway, but there are other Italian figures in these vehicles that, that, that would be out there because the Italians uh, try to counter the Long Range Desert Group with their, with their own version. So the two of them would be out chasing each other throughout the, the deserts um, in North Africa, trying to stop and prevent each other and sabotage each other and, and raid each other's uh, territories, airfields, etc. So there are the Italian versions of this out there as well. So lots of possibilities. Uh, again, another fun Tamiya kit, an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. Worth your attention. It's a fun project. And that's where I am with that right now. And you get the rubber tires. to be pretty good. If you look at them, they even have, I can see that, but it's got the name of the tire it is stamped on there, which is kind of cool. It says, in yeah, general, 105016. So that's kind of a neat feature as well. Anyway, so that's today's model building workshop. And uh, we'll catch you guys soon. All right, keep on building and stay safe. Bye now.